backstage at our Hot 99.5 Jingle Ball presented by Capital One. Um, you've got something happening in January. January. Okay, so it's not only happening in January. Well, that yes, the album is coming out, Diamonds and Dance Floors, mm -hmm. on January 27th. But this month we have 12 days of surprises. 12 days of Ava Max. Basically. We're throwing out 12 days of yeah. Christmas. We all love, yeah. kind of tired. We're moving into 12 days of Ava I'm Max. I'm just really <laughs> excited because it's just, it's just like um, something that I really wanted to do. Can you give us any detail as what those 12 days may Hold. Just a lot of a lot of my face, okay. <laughs> a lot of dancing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, those are good hints. I like those hints. We um, can we can work I with think those. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, safe. We don't want to say anything we can't say here. Um, I know you're a former theater kid. Am I? Yeah, you performed, <laughs> much, you, you performed in school all the time. I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> uh, you're a former theater kid. Do you, I'm very familiar with like the energy circle of it all. Do you have anything similar that you do, like, when you come to perform a Jingle Ball, like, with your team before you head up on the stage? I mean, to be honest, I feel like um, we have similar energy, right? Like, I feel like, right? You and me? Yeah, I feel like we do. We're vibing, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I feel like you do the same thing, right? You need, like, you time, right? I need me time before, like, stage. I need to, like, meditate by myself. But then I go crazy right before stage. Like, I'm, like, doing jumping jacks and, like, I got I to gotta get it out of me, you know, whatever it is. Like, the devil or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know the demons, <laughs> and then and then we go. Yeah. So no <laughs> holding hands backstage. No, I do this. Like, like I always do this. Always do that. Oh my god! It's just like to cut any negative energy off of me. And it's also iconic. That's like that's gonna become something one day. Really? You're gonna have people just going. This? Yeah. I don't know. It's the thing <laughs> I do. Now you know my secret. Um, speaking <laughs> of backstage happenings, Sam Smith and Kim Petras are here. My two faves. Them reaction. so much. <laughs> They're my babies. Um, I love Sam Smith and I love Kim. Um, I saw on your Instagram story you were driving through New York. I was. And you heard their song. I don't know that he's gonna <laughs> the body shop. Okay, that is in my brain forever. <laughs> Have you uh, run into them at all? No, tonight I will stalk them and find them. <laughs> because Sam and Kim, I if you're out there. I didn't have time yesterday. I had to run um, to come here, actually. But I am going to find find you guys. I love you. We're anxiously awaiting that meetup. That's going to be collab of the century. I, I say collab because... Hey, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> like, we got to hit this. <laughs> um, besides Unholy, uh, any songs, albums on your playlist right now that you're, like, obsessed with? Oh, this month has been crazy, but last, last, Burna Boy. I've been listening to that okay. a lot. It's it's one of my favorites. Um, I listen to a lot of classics as well. Like, uh, right now, Christmas songs. Obviously, it's December. Um, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> because like the he OG. is. Okay. He totally is. Um, and you told <laughs> us upstairs that you are obsessed with Mariah. Yes. You who lamb. Is, who isn't, though, obsessed with Mariah? I would I would walk away. If someone said, oh, I don't like Mariah Carey, I'd be like, do you even exist? Like, do you even <laughs> know what music is? Immediate red flag. Yeah, exactly. Bye. What, Talk to you later. Would you consider yourself a lamb? A lamb. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a track list and release date for Diamonds and Dance Floors. Uh, without revealing too much, because we've already done the 12 days of it all, uh, are there any songs in particular that you're excited for everyone to hear? Oh, Ghost, Sleepwalker, and Hold Up, Wait a Minute. But I love them all, but those are my top three. Okay. Well, any, I don't know how, it's hard to say top three because I love them all, but right now those, yeah. Any reason in particular? They're just, I don't know, um, I guess, like, let's say, like, you know, when I hear my own voice, sometimes I get, I'm like, eh, I don't really want to hear it. Those songs I, like, want to play over and over again. Okay. That's maybe why. So you heard it here first. <laughs> Bangers. Yeah, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Go, sleepwalker. Get out of my heart. One of us. Okay, now I'm going to name them all because I love them all. They're all my babies. The whole album. Just say the whole album. The whole album. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard a conversation uh, that you had with Tanya Rad and EJ uh, um, on another one of our iHeart stations a couple months ago. Um, yes, and you Tanya. Were She's my friend. BFFs. So um, and you were talking about how the content on this album is kind of something that you'd like never really talked about before can you talk a little bit about that which which content uh how just like you've kind of like revealed things like this is normally stuff that you write about oh the meaning behind the yeah. songs is definitely filled with all of my heartbreak of the last two years and it is a sad reality but it you know i turned my sadness into dance records and um it's a little bit of you know a different thing i do because i usually don't write about heartbreak and this album is and you have a very special talent of blending heartbreak and emotion with 
stuff that makes you want to get up and oh yes i need to dance because they all (laughs) most of them did start off as like slower songs and ballads like get out of my heart one of us they started off very very slow and then um you know sir could get on the track and he made it a dance record so and so uh, i've heard about your uh writing process um and i i well so there's actually a little bit of story behind this so i was out shopping for my favorite Christmas candle because I what accidentally left mine uh, on while I left the house and it like ran out. Um, thankfully, my house is still there. Um, and while I was looking at candles, I remember that you said you like to uh, light unscented candles while you write, right? Yeah, because I like the look of it, you and know, the vibe. The smell. But then when I smell it too much, it's just like messes with my throat and my singing. And yeah. I'm just like, eh. So while I was shopping for candles, I Aww. figured that we'd get you a little something. Can I open it? Yeah, right now, of course. Okay. So Excited. next time you're writing a hit song, you Wait. can think of your friends here oh, at Hot 99.5. Thank you. Some unscented candles I for you. I love unscented candles. <laughs> thank you. Diamonds and Dance Floors out January 27th. <laughs> Ava, we are so excited to see you hit the stage tonight at Jingle Ball. Thank you. I'm excited to dance with everybody. Thanks so much for coming. <laughs>